Here, Taurus. <laughs> okay, this reading is for those of you that have strongly Taurus in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for January 2021. Please have in mind that this is a general reading, so the messages that will come through may or may not resonate with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is down there below in the description box. Okay, Taurus, let's see. Taurus. Ten of Cups. You're feeling it. You're feeling that something's coming towards your way. Okay? And that's the truth. You are very optimistic regarding your love life and your life in general. Okay, Taurus? New beginnings for you with the full card, with the full energy. You're ready to take a leap of faith, but what I'm really hearing uh, is that you are ready to take a leap of faith as your new you, Doris. You are listening to your intuition and you're trusting it, okay? okay two more shuffles for Taurus, please. One, two. Taurus. So, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. Now, someone here is um, is juggling. Taurus, I don't know if this is you or the person that you are dealing with. It's like someone wants to, to rush in and speak their truth. And it's like they, they, they feel burdened because they, they have a lot of things to say. They have a lot of truth that they want to, 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 to give you. It, it seems that you're not aware about something here, Taurus, and you're assuming. Like, I'm getting a lot of assuming, like, um, like a collective theme in, in January. So... Someone here wants to clear the air, Taurus. First card for you is the Ten of Cups. The Moon. The Two of Wands. Star card. Aquarius, Leo. Taurus, Scorpio energy. Two of Cups. Someone is about to reveal their true feelings to you, Taurus. Vice versa. Okay? They have been keeping their feelings very tight. Like, uh, like it's a... a, a um... <sighs> okay. I'm getting that it's very hard for this person to express their feelings. The High Priestess, they have been, they have not been talking. They were, this, this person was not talking, is not talking, was not talking, not showing. <laughs> this is about to change. We have the Knight of Cups here. Okay. Taurus, I feel that this is going to be a surprise for you.
Mm -hmm. Yes. Someone is going to take the is 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 deciding is choosing to speak their truth and have a new beginning with you. They have been trying to manifest this, okay, but the results were not positive. They were manifesting in secrecy. This is what I'm hearing, but it did not work out. They were waiting for you to, like they were trying to manifest you making the first step here, avoiding to be the ones that are going to make the first move. But karmic justice here is playing out, so their manifestation did not work out because they were the one that were, they, they were the ones that had to do this, not you, okay? A lot of feelings have been kept secret here. It could be that this person was dealing with someone else or you were dealing with someone else. Or they just don't know how to express feelings. Okay, Taurus? Let's clarify the moon. We have the Knight of Wands here, okay? Now, a lot of you were dealing with the player. I get, I'm really getting here that this person it's like it's the first time for them to have so strong feelings for someone so it is something new for them they do not want to come they do not want you to perceive them as a fool. This is like a very masculine energy here that I'm picking up on. That is very prideful. And it could be that they like perceive as like showing feelings as a weakness. Expressing feeling as a, feelings is a weakness. That's why they were trying to manifest you i'm hearing back in their life without them doing anything yes without them doing any kind of action or expressing anything to you out of fear that they're going to be perceived as a fool mm, interesting Sorry. Mm, sorry about that. Taurus. You see, this person, as I said, they were holding back out of fear. And sorry if I'm repeating, they were holding back out of fear of, yes, becoming the fool. So they kept all this inside, all these strong feelings they kept inside. I find it very strange if this person is like that. It could be that they were hurt in the past because they were very expressive. And this could be why they became a player. It's like they were trying to detach themselves from their own feelings. Uh.
so they were actually engaging in connections that they did not really have to express or even like get in that energy of feelings. And I'm hearing that they were dealing with, like they were choosing to engage with people less than. It was easier for them to manipulate these situations without feelings. Okay, Taurus. But then you came along and they started to have feelings again. They got scared. They did pull away. And because of that, you really felt this was over or that you were wasting your time. I'm also hearing that for a lot of you, this person denied that they had any kind of feelings for you. Like, because I'm getting that a lot of you did ask this person or confronted this person, like, hello, what's going on between the two of us? Is this going to go somewhere? And they're like, uh, what made you think that this is going to move forward? You're, we're just friends or we are just friends with benefits or whatever, you know, no, I have no feelings for you. You know, I mean, I like you. Yes, you're a good person, but that's it. But they were definitely lying to themselves. Kept all these feelings bottled up. You had enough, Taurus. You walked away. And I do sense a lot of this person having a lot of regrets, not expressing their true feelings. Yes. I want to clarify the Ace of Cups. Hmm. It could be that there was a third party. That's why they were not expressing their feelings. Okay. Okay. It could be that. Two of Cups for Taurus. <laughs> They missed you. They missed you. Five of cups. Five of pentacles. Well, they were not saying anything. They were expecting you to do all the work. Because this is what you were doing, Taurus. You were giving it all. Yes, trying to bring balance in this connection. Seriously, they, they were not moving their finger here. And then when you walked away or you pulled your energy, they did realize that this is not going to work. They realize that they have to say something. Do something or else they will they would lose you forever. Okay. And I'm also getting a lot of fear from this person. Fear of you meeting someone else that was open to love, that was open of expressing, showing, because you deserve it 100 percent and they know that. Yeah, and I'm just uh, also hearing that they were afraid that what would they do if things did not work out between the two of you? Like after they would express, show their feelings. Really, I, like I'm getting a very like masculine here energy that is very like set in their ways. A very detached kind of energy. Let's clarify the High Priestess for Taurus, please. Two wanted to come out. 
This is the Empress and the Eight of Swords. Now, you did feel trapped in a way. It's like you did not know what to do. Because your feeling, your gut feeling was telling you something else. What, what, you know, your gut feeling was telling you something else from what they were telling you. So, as I said, this person could have denied that they have any kind of interest. And you're like, well, how is this possible? I mean, and you know, and you were like, well, I remember this time and that time and the way this person was looking at me, the way how, let's say, because um, I'm getting like touches, like, you know, like, um, like by accident or what, like a lot of things, but you did not know what to do because they told you, I feel that they told you that they're not interested in you, not in that kind of way. So Taurus, you do not know how to deal with this. You do not, you really wanted for this to move forward, but how would that be possible if this person was not showing or telling you anything? I mean, they did tell you that they were not interested and they were lying because they were shit scared of their feelings. They were also scared that they would disappoint you in the long run. So you made a decision here, Taurus. You made a decision to mirror them back and not show them anything. And this is exactly when they felt left out in the cold by you. And the truth is that they were very surprised that you did leave them out in the cold. They did not expect that from you. Probably because they did take you for granted. And also because your feelings were very strong. You had no problem showing them or telling them how you truly feel about them. So, okay. Let's see. The Empress and the Eight of Swords for Taurus. The Nine of Swords, yes. Now this became a burden, a burden for you. I mean, yeah, it takes two to tango. So if this was an unrequited love, this is how you were perceiving it as an unrequited love, then what, what could you do? Not many things, right? Only to detach. And now this person is, is in this energy of the Knight of Swords, wanting to rush in and speak their truth. I do feel still that something is holding them back, to be honest with you. We have the Sun card and the Death card. So I feel that this person still is going through a transformation. Okay, could be that you are dealing with a Scorpio or you have Scorpio in your chart or Taurus in your chart if you are a Scorpio. There you go. Okay. So this person is going through a major transformation in their life. It's like now they realize that if they want to be happy, they have to do something about it. Not just sit in this energy of detachment. Okay. This is very interesting. Because them staying in that energy, energy of detachment is like, it's a choice. Of course, it's a choice. I don't know if this person is um, like in a spiritual journey. Could be. So it's like they, they're not allowing themselves to get attached to people, to emotions. <sighs> yeah, but I mean, this life is for us to enjoy it. 
And there are different types of attachments. But living a life emotionless, it's not really a life, is it? Very interesting. Okay, I want to see, I want to clarify the Knight of Cups for Taurus, please. Mm -hmm. This person wants victory with you. Could be that you are working together. This is another reason maybe this person was not expressive, okay? Because you are, you were working in the same environment. It could be that you're not allowed to have romantic connections where you are uh, working, you know what I mean? This person was watching you, was, is watching you. They know that you are single. They have you on a pedestal, Taurus. They do want victory with you, but they are very regretful. They are very regretful of not expressing their true feelings. I'm getting that you did not even know how this person viewed you. Like you were even wondering if they like you or not as, as a person, you know what I mean? They were very cold and detached, okay? Very much so. And we have the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, she is detached. She is cold. But deep down, I'm hearing that this person was burning for desire. Was Yes, this person was burning uh, for desire, from desire, for desire, for you, whatever, yeah. And a lot of, I'm getting that maybe you did change jobs and you never really knew how this person felt. And now they don't see you and they're like, they feel that they miss an opportunity, Taurus. We also have this, yeah, we could be because of the pandemic that you're not seeing each other, working at home. Okay, this could also uh, resonate for those of you that are in like, um, uh, like school schooling. Like, okay, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. And the Three of Cups. This person wants to uh, reunite, reunite with you. I feel that this the, the, this person is going to like call you, text you. They're going to find like a, a reason to do so. Without being obvious that they want to reconnect with you. Yeah. Yes, for a lot of you, this person is uh, returning. This person is coming back. Mm -hmm. They want to work things out with you. They want to be more giving in this connection. They want to offer you a night out, a cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. If you are going to accept or not, it's up to you. It's your choice. I feel that you are juggling, like after they are going to um, contact you, asking you for a day out, you, I, I, don't, I don't know if you're going to accept or not. Because I, I feel that you really like this person, love, even love this person. So in a way, you do want to protect yourself from getting hurt. I'm hearing, give, give, give this relationship a chance. This is what I'm hearing. This person really misses you, Taurus. 
like they're not expressing their true feelings and intentions has become toxic. Look, yes. It's like they have defeated their own self here. Look at this. They are really feeling this. They're feeling that they feel that they have lost you, that they have lost a chance with you, okay? So maybe they have. If you have moved on, I don't know, Doris. But yeah, this is what I'm hearing. Give this relationship a chance, okay? Okay, let's see what messages will come through from Spirit. As an advice for Taurus. For Taurus, please, thank you. Offer your love. This is what they want to do. <laughs> they want to offer you their love. I oh, hope it's not too late for their sake. Is there someone in your life who, who, who could benefit from loving kindness? The gesture doesn't have to be big. Send an email, pick up the phone, pop by for a visit or order a bouquet of posses. Let this person know that you're thinking of him or her. When we offer our love generously, that caring energy comes back to us tenfold while also lifting us up in the process. Reach out and offer your love today. So they, they, they want to do that. They really want to do that. And they are going to do it. Okay? Finally. So let's see what message will come through from the animal spirit. Oracle deck here for you, Taurus. We have love, dear, dear love. Oh my goodness. Be gentle with yourself. You heal with the power of love. See the light in all things. Acknowledge your self-worth and grace. You not showing interest to this person anymore did bring them in that healing process, okay? Because motion, emotions do run deep. This person, I feel, is in love with you, Taurus. They had no idea that they were in love because they were pushing their feelings down, fearing that they are going to get hurt again. And I'm also getting that this person could have been involved in other relationships that were very like surface kind of connections with no feelings. You know, just sex or, yeah, just sex. Very surface kind of connections. And then they met you they started having feelings, they got scared, and now I'm repeating. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming for you, Taurus, to offer you their love, to offer you their cup. You were doing it for so long, and it was like they were rejecting you. And because they were rejecting you, you did not know what to do. You pulled your energy back, and then they realized how much they love you. Purpose. I know what I am here to do. And we also have happiness on the bottom of the deck. So I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. When you were in their life, you did bring a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. When you did walk away, they missed that. They missed that feeling. <laughs> I feel that you were you are meant to be together. Like, yeah. 
<laughs> so let's see what's the spiritual message. You're healing each other, Taurus. Because for you, it was also a lesson to detach from what does not make you happy. I mean, this person not being, like, this person being so cold and detached was, you know, making you feel less than. Well, so, let's see. What is the spiritual message for Taurus? Mm -hmm. I shine the light into the shadow saying yes to that which I have denied or said no to my or said no to within myself. There you go. Letting go of the deepest levels of fear. Archangel Metatron. Yep. Yep. Taurus. If this reading do not resonate, you can also watch your moon, your rising, your Venus, and your Jupiter. Bye, 